Hey there people, Ryan White for highpointmusic.com.au. In today's lesson, I'm gonna show you people how you can start to learn and master your pull-offs in only five minutes per day. Okay, so first things first, we need to dive in and check out the mechanics of our pull-off movement here. So we're gonna be using the A minor pentatonic scale as our framework. And like we did with our hammer-on video, we've got the option of using our fourth finger, okay, as part of our scale here. Or some people love to use the third finger with the first finger completely across their pentatonics. I like to use my fourth, but just go with whatever personal preference or whatever feels best for you. Okay, so the mechanics are very, very similar to our other technique and our fundamentals. So we want to make sure that we've got our fingertips in really good fret position, okay? So up on our tips, and then when we're pulling off, okay, we want you to pay close attention to the angle in which my fourth finger is leaving the string, okay? So if we've got a lot of gain on the signal or we're playing with an electric, you can get away, okay, with touching the string like that if it's very amplified. But the more, even if you're playing acoustic, you wanna make sure you're really focusing on the angle in which that finger is leaving the strings, okay? And that gives us that pull off. So once you're comfortable just doing that freestyling, okay, in a free tempo, and just getting comfortable with that movement with the finger you've chosen to work with. And then we move on to our next string. And again, we're practicing the same motion. Okay, getting comfortable with that and practicing that angle in which the finger is leaving, which is roughly a 45 degree angle away from the fretboard to get a really strong connection. So once you're mastering that movement, then we just wanna go really steadily and comfortably with as much control as possible, moving through that A minor pentatonic scale, focusing on those fundamentals of fingertips and fret position. So once you're executing that really well, then we're gonna put a metronome to our work where we're aiming to do a pull off on every beat. And so just working our way down the A minor pentatonic scale, fingertips, fret position, Okay, get set, go back to the beginning, fingertips fret position. So that's putting one pull off on every beat, working through our scale, just like that. So once you've developed that and you're able to push the tempo up whilst maintaining accuracy, then you can start to look at an eighth note subdivision, which looks like this. Four. You can see here, I'm doing two pull-offs per beat. And one, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, four. Last time, so it's keeping those fingertips, fret position, and getting that really nice angle as our finger leaves the fretboard. So there you go, if you follow those concepts and approaches for as little as five minutes per day, you're gonna to start to learn and develop your pull-off technique and you're gonna be well on the way to mastering. So just to recap, start off by understanding the technique, going nice and steady, fingertips, good fret position, and mastering that movement in which our finger is leaving the fretboard. Secondly, then you can start to incorporate your metronome just using a quarter note subdivision with one pull-off per beat, and then lastly, using the eighth notes and pushing that up as your technique will allow you whilst maintaining accuracy. Don't forget to hit those like and subscribe buttons, people. If you have any questions or comments about this video, leave that in the description below. Also, don't forget to check out my latest online course, which is the High Point Music Guitar Fundamentals Program. If you're looking to shave years off your development with all the core concepts that I work on with my one-on-one -on -one private students, follow the links below and check out this course. You can even check it out on an obligation-free trial before you buy it, so there's no excuse to be stuck in a rut with your playing any longer. And then lastly, if you want to directly contribute to the content that I'm putting out on this channel, sign up for a $1 per month membership on Patreon. So my name is Ryan Wyatt. Thank you very much for watching. I'll catch up with you all in the next video.